Hi, I'm Dr. Peters with Peters Wellness Chiropractic and Massage. This week's quick video is going to discuss healthy digestion, kind of part two in the series of talking about nutrition. And when we talk about digestion, let's talk about taking food and drink into your body. Um, we put it into our mouths and we, our body is going to need to break that down into smaller molecules. And basically protein, fat, carbohydrates, vitamins and minerals. Those are kind of our key ingredients that we want to look at and foods are going to break down into this. So when we take the food in, we're going to put it in our mouth, it's going to go through, well, let me use this guy right here in the background. We're going to take the food in through the mouth, it's going to travel down through the esophagus and it's going to go into the stomach. And in the stomach, it's going to be mixed with some digestive juices and then it's going to be slowly led into the small intestine. Now the small intestine is where it's going to mix with different digestive enzymes from your pancreas, your gallbladder, and your liver. And it's going to mix things up and you know just think of it like a blender mixing it up. It's going to be churned around in there and broken down into smaller particles such as the protein, fats, and carbohydrates, and the vitamins and minerals. Then it's going to move from there into the small intestine. And as it moves into the small intestine, it's going to be broken down even more. And from there, as it gets smaller and smaller, the nutrients that it's broken down into will be absorbed through the small intestinal wall into the blood system. And the blood will then run around and deliver it to where it needs to go. So the rest of what's remaining will be moved into the large intestine and that will be going out as waste. When it gets in the large intestine, um, more water and such is absorbed from it so that we end up with a small bolus that's moved along with peristalsis out through um, into the rectum and we get rid of the waste. So with that being said, um, just real quick, so we're, it's coming down into its stomach, it's gonna get into the small intestine, move around through the colon and out, okay? That's the way we want it to go. So with the standard American diet, which the acronym for that is SAD because, well, it, it has gotten to a point where our diet is, is pretty sad. Um, I got a quick list here of, of things that we're looking at that are going into our bodies on a regular basis. Processed food, artificial ingredients, pesticides, antibiotics, sugar, you know, I've said before, it's the new cigarette, um, various grains and proteins that our body does not absorb well. This compromises our immune system because 60 to 80 percent, depending on who you read, 60 to 80 percent of our immune system is in our digestive tract. Okay, 60 to 80 percent. So now that gets compromised with these ingredients that are in our diets, and then toxins might be allowed to bypass these protective mechanisms and allowed into the bloodstream where they then they get delivered through the body instead of our proteins, fats, carbohydrates, vitamins, minerals, and things going to where they need to go. And you say, well, what's the big deal with that? Well, that leads to inflammation, or inflammation, not inflammation, inflammation. So inflammation causes our bodies to increase insulin, to increase cortisol. Well, with increased cortisol and increased insulin, when you say the term insulin, most people know because it's so common. Now we're thinking of obesity, type 2 diabetes, celiac disease, heart disease, ADHD, Alzheimer's, dementia. These are the things that can be led to with a bad diet. So when you're thinking of what kind of food you want to put in your body, what kind of supplements, whatever it might be, what we're trying to lead to is things that don't have our GMOs in it. We want to put product into our body that is meant for the body. We want the body to be healthy. We want the digestive system to move freely. We do not want inflammation. So I hope this has been beneficial for you and we will talk to you next week.